The story happened on the bleak night of November 14th, 1995, in Beijing, China. An old man, some also say an old woman, was waiting at a bus stop at the midnight, picking up a conversation with the only other person at the stop, who was a quiet young gentleman. When the midnight bus 375 the last bus for Route 375 from the Yuan Ming Huan bus terminus finally came, they both boarded on it. The old man took a seat near the front of the bus while the young man sat a couple of rows behind him. There were no other passengers along with them other than the driver and a decent lady ticket collector. After a while, the driver spotted two shadows by the side of the road, waving at the bus. The driver stopped, and when the doors opened, three people got on. There were two men who were supporting a third man between them, holding up, up by his shoulders. The man in the middle was looking disheveled, and his head was bowed, so nobody could see his face. And there was a dismal, calm atmosphere inside the bus. Shortly after that, the old man picked up a fight with the young man under some silly pretext of stealing his wallet. The altercation escalated, and the bus driver forced them both off the bus. When they got off, and the bus zoomed away, the old man was no longer angry, and he told the young man that he had saved their lives. Because the new three passengers did not have feet and were floating, they were not living people. He uttered. After that, they went to the nearest police station to report this event, but nobody believed them. The very next day, however, the bus company issued a statement. Last night, the final bus for Route 375 has vanished along with the driver and ticket lady. The police immediately chased down that old man and the young man who were assumed to be mentally ill when they tried to raise the alarm earlier. They were both interviewed on the news. And on the third day, the police revealed the allegedly missing bus in a water reservoir about 100 kilometers away from its destination, Jingshan, or so-called Fragrant Hills. Inside the bus, there were three very badly decomposed corpses, and the mysteries surrounding this finding included 1. The bus did not have enough petrol for it to keep going that far after a whole day's work of travel. 2. The police found that the petrol tank was filled with fresh blood instead of fuel. 3. The corpses found were too decomposed for just 48 hours. Even if it was summer, the process of decomposition would not be this quick. An autopsy confirmed that there has been no intentional meddling with the bodies. And four, the police went through all the security camera tapes set up for the various entrances to access the reservoir, but have found nothing out of the ordinary. To this day, it remains an unsolved mystery. <laughs>